to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Come on, everyone, it's time to go home. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story maker. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. <laughs> hello, baby. Ah, uh, Jack's my man. <laughs> and hello to hello, you, Byron. my green dream. Um, um, Byron? <laughs> yes, please. Is it time to make a story yet? <laughs> it's always time to make a story. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it's always time to make a story. Did you have anything in mind? Um, well, the children drew some lovely pictures oh. today. Yeah, with chalking and mm. painting mm. and, um... And... Yeah, I was wondering if we could use one of them. Yeah, do you want to come and see? Yeah, OK. Oh. Hmm. Can anybody hear a ringing? Mm. I can. Uh, oh, Byron, yes. it must be your mobile phone. Oh. <laughs> I think it is. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Byron speaking. Ah, hello, Milton. <gasps> Nick, <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Mm. Uh, Byron. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what about the story, oh, Byron? Yes. Byron. No, no, uh, hold on a minute, please. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jelly. What about the story? Yeah, yeah, in a minute, Jelly. No, minute. no, no. I tell you what. Look, you go and pick a picture, and I'll catch you right up. Yeah, we're on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, sorry about that, mate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. look at all these lovely pictures. Oh, oh the, the one with the blue and shapes and yellow shapes and the girl and, and that squishy one. Oh, and that butterfly. Yeah, I saw James draw that today. Mm. Oh, but which one shall I choose? Oh, I wish Byron would hurry up. Byron! Byron! Oh, oh dear, I don't know which one to choose. Oh, which one? Oh, which... oh, yeah, I'll have this one, yeah. <laughs> Quantum. <laughs> Quantum. <laughs> Cosmic. <laughs> I've got one! Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's the matter, Jilly? Well, I've chosen a picture to make a story, but but Byron's busy. <laughs> you, yes, he is. Yeah, um, yeah, well, on, uh, don't worry, do we can make one ourselves. <laughs> come on. <Okay>. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Now we need one more thing. Mm. Imagination. Yes, we need lots of imagination to get this machine working. Yes. Are you ready to help? Yeah. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a playbook. Oh, we did it ourselves. Um, What's it called? I can't read it. Oh, oh, we need Byron. But he's busy. Yes. Oh. 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 Oh, sorry about that. Oh. Oh. The book's called The One O'Clock Club. At our One O'Clock Club, 
There's so much to do. Joking. Painting. And sticking with glue. There's a toy kitchen. With colourful pots and pans. And lots of Play-Doh to squidge in your hands. Alexandra and Amy love reading. And Santa plays a great tune. Rihanna and Tom are bouncing nearly as high as the moon. You can go for a ride. Or whiz down the slide. Then, if you want to make a call, there's a telephone box right next to the wall. Outside is a huge garden for playing around in the sun. Or strolling like Corey with his pushchair. This place is so much fun! There's a big sand pit to make sand castles and play. Pretending you're at the beach for the day. And when you want to leave, get on board the big train. And off home you steam. Till it's one o'clock club time again. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not again! Hello? Sorry, no. <laughs> Wrong number. Oh. Where's Jelly gone? Oh, uh, I think she's cross. Oh, dear. With you. Oh, dear. Mm. Hello? This is Jelly here. Hmm. Yes, I'm very well. Hmm. And I've just made a story. Yeah, and I'm talking to you on the phone. Mm. Mm. Hi, Gel Gels. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Yes, Byron? Uh, are you busy? Mm. Uh, it's uh, just that I can uh, feel a story coming on. Uh, sorry, Byron. I'm on the telephone. Mm. As I was saying... Oh, I, dear. I this calls for some fast finger work. Yeah, the man with the yeah. phone says, okay. Abra Cabo. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, Byron's gone. You know, I've never actually talked on a real phone. <laughs> Abracadjelly. Ah, ah, it's ringing. Ah, Jackson, Jackson, help. What's the matter, Jelly? Oh, the phone's ringing. Oh, well, why don't you answer it? No, no, I don't want to. You do it. OK. <laughs> Hello. Who is it? Jackson speaking. Who is it? Oh, it's for you. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Gel Gels. Oh. Hi, Byron. Uh, oh, <laughs> listen, Jelly, yeah? I'm really, really sorry. I didn't have time to make a story with you earlier. Oh, that's OK, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to make a story now? Oh, yes, yes, we would. Uh, yes, we would, wouldn't we, Jackson? What? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. we'd like to make a story, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, please. We can make it with this phone. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. Meet you by the story machine. <laughs> that is the yeah. date. <laughs> she didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> ah, hello, oh. Gels. Oh, oh, Byron, here's the phone for the story. Yes, mm. yeah, we bought the whole phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Into the story machine. Mm -hmm. Now we need some imagination. <laughs> Do you think there'll be a, a phone in the story? Ah, there might be, mm. if we use enough imagination. OK. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a Barnacle Rock story. <laughs> and it's called The Oogly Googly Thing. Papa Clamonelli 
say hi. Hey. Little Ian Harry say ho. Hey. With Grub and Electra, they're gonna search for treasure down amongst the Barney Pools of Barney Pool Rock. Yeah. Once upon a time at Barney Pool Rock, something noisy turned up. Electra hissed. Ricky, stop! Jump, jump! cried the barnacles. The creatures searched the seabed to find out where the ringing sound was coming from. Here's what's causing the trouble, grumbled Gruff. There on the sand was a very strange looking creature with lots of little bulgy eyes, a curly coily tail, and a huge claw. Isn't he totally and googly? marveled the seahorse baby. Don't touch it, Little E, called Harry. We don't know what it is. It might be a biter, grinned Gruff. It's still ringing, sighed Ellie. Why don't we tell it to shush? Oh, all right, hissed Electra. One, two, three, shush! Shush, shushed everyone. Shush. Just like that, the creature stopped ringing. Thanks, Sparks, for that, hissed Electra. Ellie floated over. Isn't she brave? chimed the barnacles. Uh, Hello, uh, I'm sorry we shushed you just now. At that moment, the creature started to talk. Sorry, all our operators are busy. Your call is held in a queue and will be answered shortly. The oogly googly creature stopped talking and started playing music. Hold on a minute. Grinned Gruff. I know this one. You play it, I'll sing it. And he burst into song. This papa lives under the ocean. La, la, la. This papa lives under the sea. Yes, he does. And all of my friends think I'm grumpy. I'm grumpy. But it's my way of being happy. Hooray! Up popped Papa Clown. Oh, well, what's that terrible singing? We're playing with the new gilly googly thing. Chortled the seahorse baby. Oogly googly! Before Papa Clam. <laughs> oh, hey, that there watch in the call is a telephone. The people up top use them to speak to their faraway friends. <laughs> Said everyone. Our operators are still busy. Please try again later. Said the oogly googly creature. Then it went silent. Oh, gone. Littley sighed. Thank heavens for that! Gifford Potter. <laughs> That's enough ringing and singing for today! Giggled Ellie. Uh, sorry, our operators are busy. <laughs> Please try again later. <laughs> 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 Hello, Jackson here. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I'll come right away. <laughs> What's that noise? It's Jackson's car. <laughs> oh, but of course. Yes. Oh, that's a fast car, Jackson. Well, this is my fastest car, Jelly. Oh. <laughs> I'm just taking it to the garage it's to fast. fill up with petrol. There we go. Hello, Jackson speaking. Mm. Oh, Who is it? Uh, Who is it's it? the story machine. Mm. Uh, uh, yes, the what? Story my machine. fastest car? OK, I shall be right there. <laughs> Bye. Mm. Come on, Jelly. What, what? Where are we Come going? On. We're going to the story machine. Come on, my fastest car. <laughs> my fastest car. <laughs> that should make a good story. We just need some imagination to get the machine going. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What's it going to be? <laughs> oh, it's a blue cow story. Ah, and it's called Blue Cow and the Racing Car. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the cars passing her field. 
I wonder if going so fast makes you wobble like jelly. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere with very fast cars, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a very fast place indeed. And then they arrived. She was standing on the edge of a huge racetrack. There were lots of racing cars whizzing by. Oh, now that was fast, Blue Cow thought. Just then, a mechanic said, Now do be careful, Blue Cow. It's a dangerous place, you know. Keep well off the track at all times. But suddenly, a big red racing car drove over. Blue Cow could tell he was a bit of a show-off. What are you looking at? roared the red car. Eh, uh, nothing, replied Blue Cow. With that, the car revved up on its two back wheels and started to chase Blue Cow. Blue Cow started to run along the track and people waved as the red car followed her. She ran faster and faster and as she ran, so the red car got faster behind her. Ooh, uh, thought Blue Cow. I only wanted to watch. But at the next bend, the red car was overtaken by a friendly green car. Jump in, cried the green car, and I'll get you back to safety. Oh, thank you so much, cried Blue Cow, as she flung herself into the green racing car. Now they were going so fast that Blue Cow really did feel herself wobble like jelly. They crossed the finishing line, the chequered flag waved and the crowd cheered. Blue Cow and the green car had won the race. Oh, thanks for saving me, said Blue Cow to the green car. I never knew I could run that fast, and I don't think I ever want to again. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a racetrack and I won the race. Everyone knows cows can't win races. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> well, what's up, guys? <laughs> We're wobbling like blue cows. Yeah, she wobbled oh. like jelly because she went so fast. <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. Do you want to join yeah, in? Yeah, join. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Byron here. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> Sun's up. <gasps> oh, oh time for old story makers to be hidden away. Yeah. <laughs> the, the children will be here soon. <laughs> we better skedaddle. Skedaddle. Yeah. <laughs> Dawn is upon us. Mm. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Bye. See you later, story maker. <laughs>